Every day I reflect upon death, brother. Sorry, my stoicism came out. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a daily quote thingamajigger in Notion. Let's just, let's do this thing. Let's make a new page where we're gonna call it quote of the day. And it can actually be utilized in a nice setup like your head actions page or your daily planner page. And if you wanna have a cool setup like this one with this custom navigation bar, check out the Notion app system, link down below. So getting started, we're gonna make a new database, call it an inline and call it quotes or quote of the day. We're gonna make sure we have a few properties here. We're gonna make sure we have a number property. We can call it day of year number. We're gonna put a little text property for quote. And we're also gonna put a formula. So what the formula is gonna do here is we're gonna be day of year formula. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take format date. And as you can see here, when you format dates, what you can do is you can kind of assign different things to it. So let's do this format date. I'm gonna put now parentheses on both sides. So we're gonna do now comma. So we can put M here, then we can do there. And then let's duplicate this property. And then we're gonna do a couple changes here. So we're gonna do day of the year formula and month of the year formula. So that was your month of the year formula. We're gonna change this second one to say D, okay? So now we have month of the year, 11, and then day of the year, 27. So then we're gonna duplicate this property and we're gonna change this to month of the year number. Then we're gonna make sure that at the beginning of both of these properties, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this called two number, put parentheses around these. And what this will do is it'll take that number and make sure that it's not a date anymore and instead it is a number itself. And then lastly, we are gonna make one more formula, which is gonna be show question mark. So what we're gonna do at the start of this formula is we're gonna do month of year formula equals month of year number and day of year formula equals day of year number. So then what'll happen here is if, for example, this is 11 and this is 27, this will check off. So the reason for this is in a daily view, what we could do is we could take a quote of the day based off of some sort of system that we'd have and we can drop the quote right here. So let's change this layout to a board view or a gallery view. Drop this little guy to make it a small one. Maybe not have a page cover or have a page cover if you want. So let's actually add page cover. We're gonna have a property and the only property that'll show is the quote. We don't even have to have the name of the quote show. So let's do this for example. Do a cover, have this little picture of Rome and let's get a Marcus Aurelius quote. For example, if we go to this Goodreads, you have the power over your mind, not outside events, realize this and you will find strength. So we can put this guy right here, call this Marcus Aurelius quote one. And unfortunately due to the way that this is set up, you're probably gonna have to actually go with a board layout because Notion doesn't do wrapping for gallery quote which is a little silly, but you can still go to the board and have the card pre preview be the page cover, have the size maybe be small or medium, whatever your preference is, and then filter it. So show question mark is checked. So since this circumstance is the quote that I made for this day, it'll obviously show. And I could put this in my daily planner view. And then in order for you to have a input area, what I do is I put input and have a little table view and then sort it by the month of the year, and then the day of the year and have this set up so that Take this and long story short, you input the quotes and go through this and literally just go like add upon add upon add and have another quote. So like Seneca quote one or to take Seneca quotes. I'm sure the it's the power of the mind to be unconquerable is a good one. One of my favorite ones. I could set this for one one and that would just be when the date is today it would be then set to on January 1st. That's what would show for me. And I know that I personally read the Daily Stoic and I could actually put the Daily Stoic into Notion by utilizing this setup. So if you have some sort of daily thing you wanna look at, you wanna have a set of quotes that you reflect on throughout the year, this is a setup that would totally work for that. Other helpful videos on Notion, you, you want that? Or productivity? Videos like this one, we'll do that for you.